welcome to my home. So I painted a layer of the Peel Stop Primer onto this front porch because it was peeling horribly. I do not know if I am going to paint it white in the future, but we will see. By the way, should I do a whole series on making over my porches? Let me know in the comments below. And this is how the enclosed porch looked when I bought this home. Now I'm actually going to show you guys what it looked like when I started tearing things out just because I do not want you to see what this porch looks like at the moment. So we are just going to pretend that this is what it looks like. So I'll have a video linked below on how I did this lamp shade. But I did want to give a thank you to a subscriber named Egypt who suggested I unravel the mop head. And you may or may not notice, but my drawers are not actually attached. They're just sitting in, in the area where the drawers go. Also, I need to trim out right above them under the sink. I'll just go ahead and say that right now. I actually didn't trim out a lot of things in the house just because I'm not very good with trim. So I do need help with that from like my dad or someone that knows how to cut trim. It's just a complicated process. And I am so sorry I do not have a tutorial on this light fixture. It was super easy to make. I just made a box. I stuck these Christmas lights that I got on clearance at Walmart a couple years back in there. And boom, I have a breakfast bar light.
Don't mind my empty frames. I just put them up so I could hurry and do this video for you guys. All right guys, you know I have to have one room that's just overloaded with stuff because that's just how I am. I am an ongoing hoarder. Well anyways, all this stuff is actually for projects in the future, so I'm not gonna get too far into this room. So here it is, it's a big mess.
right, let's go ahead and step into the bathroom. Let me turn the light on here. lights did the whole surround and everything so that looks really nice I got some towels some toilet paper you know I wanted to show you like back up a little bit show you what it looks like in the if I don't have the lights on it still frames out really nicely because the only window that wasn't here was actually right there, but I covered it, sealed it, put a wall over it, and then we put this giant mirror in, and I, I absolutely love it. And you can see inside here, I like taking showers with the lights off because it creates this cool little mood. Just put some music on and have like a whole little party as I'm taking a shower. All right, let's go ahead and go into my bedroom. I do want to point out like this door. I had, I had this ugly, disgusting green door that was here. So now we have this door. I still need to obviously maybe trim this out, repaint that. I don't know, the whole little section I haven't even really touched. Same with this edging the door frames. I'm not very good with trim work, like I said before, so I really need my father to help me with that. you guys enjoyed the tour video if you did don't forget to give that a big thumbs up for me I worked really hard on this tour video so ugh, hours and hours of editing hours of cleaning you know what I'm saying I'm really sorry that you guys didn't really get to check out my porch too much how it looks because a lot of stuff is still on the porch so hopefully and leave a comment down below if you think I should do so I might be doing a whole series on making over my front porch. Not really sure, but just because, you know, with limited time, limited money, resources, what do I do with the stuff? 
that type of thing. So let me know if you guys want me to do that, but I would love to make over my porch. All right, guys, thank you so much for believing in me and subscribing. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I'm gonna be doing a lot more home decor videos. More to come. Welcome to the family. Bye.